In this VMware vSphere BitFusion demo, the data scientist in the middle is going to run a machine learning application using BitFusion to access remote T4 GPUs. The other users are here for comparison. The user at the top doesn't even use acceleration because of the difficulty and expense. The user at the bottom for this demo is going to run machine learning on the CPU only. The data scientist will invoke BitFusion from the command line so you can see exactly what is happening. He will allocate two virtual GPUs for the application, a machine learning application which runs locally. These virtual GPUs will be sized at 60% of the physical GPUs. The remaining 40% of memory is available to others for simultaneous use. The data scientist at the bottom will run the same app, but far, far more slowly. The user at the top is left to celebrate or question her decision to go into accounting. BitFusion users gain access to a larger pool and a greater variety of GPUs than they could purchase for their exclusive use. The sharing is invisible, it's automated and dynamic. Administrators can use BitFusion to increase GPU utilization and to make management and maintenance easier since they do not have to support siloed machines for individuals. We are going to run a TensorFlow benchmark training a ResNet 50 model to classify 1,000 dog breeds. We have a data set with pictures of all of these dog breeds. The breed Golden Retriever is very photogenic, so we'll scroll through some of them. Let's examine our infrastructure in vCenter. We have a GPU cluster and this host has two T4 GPUs from NVIDIA. This VM is a BitFusion appliance, a BitFusion server. We've used direct path IO to pass the GPUs through to it. We have a general purpose cluster without GPUs. This particular VM is where we are going to run our TensorFlow dog classification application. If we look at the settings, we can see that we have passed no GPUs through to it. Let's look at the command line. We are in the middle of a CPU only run of the TensorFlow benchmark. If you look at the speed at which it is proceeding, we are only processing 1.3 images per second. This is quite slow. It will take a days to run. So let hit, let's hit control C and that create a, a little bit of working space and do a command recall. This is the command we were just running. It is a TensorFlow benchmark. You can see that the benchmark is trying to find two GPUs, but it reverts to running on the CPU if it can't find them. It's also a ResNet 50 model. The batch size is 64 images at a time. We'll take this same command and prefix it with a bitfusion run command. Bitfusion run is going to allocate a, the number, the N, to GPUs because that is what our application is going to search for. We are going to slice or partition the GPU at a fraction of 60%. We add a separator so that we can tell the Bitfusion options, the dash N and the dash P from all of the options passed to the application and we'll let that run. What is scrolling by is standard output for the TensorFlow benchmark. And again, we have invoked Bitfusion explicitly on the command line so you can see what's happening. It is also possible to start a session where the GPU has been pre-allocated and you wouldn't have to type Bitfusion on the command line. Let's take a look at the BitFusion GUI or the BitFusion plugin shown here. We are on the cluster tab where we can see the GPU allocation history over the last hour. Purple shows us the capacity, blue shows us the, the allocation. We can change the range or time scale from five minutes to an hour. The server box shows us all of the servers in our, in our cluster and a snapshot of their allocation. Here are the two at 60%. 
We have a box for all of the clients. We can look at a particular client, its assignment history. Again, you can change the time scale. On the servers tab, we see our list of servers. We can select our particular server with its two GPUs. We have a heat map history of its two GPUs. Scrolling down, we can see the memory allocation and core utilization for the first of the GPUs and for the second of the GPUs. We can also look at the network traffic. We'll go back to the cluster tab and wait for the application to finish. Again, we see the snapshot of its current use. When the application finishes, they'll be, they will be grayed out. As you can see here, we've set the benchmark to run pretty quickly for this demo. Going back to the command line then, we, the, we can see the application has finished and instead of 1.3 images per second, it is now processing them at 239 images per second. That's about 183 times faster than it was before. Our application with Bitfusion can now run anywhere, a VM, a container, or bare metal. There's no need to install the GPU, the driver, or GPU operator, but we can still use an instantly available GPU or partition from the shared pool to get the acceleration we need. 